Hi, it's me. You think you got rid of me? <laughs> you didn't get rid of me yet, you mother effers. Can't say too much down in here. This is my church. This is where we all came from. We've had happy times here, bad times here. But uh, they wouldn't let us public school kids do any of the polishing. And the nuns down here were terrible, brutal. And you can say it, I can say all I want now about the Catholic Church and the Catholic nuns, but I'm going to be very, very, very nice about it. I'm going to miss the Vatican, though. Once that goes under, we all go under. I made peace with everybody and everything. Did some crazy stuff. Got some good jokes going. Myron, you got to keep this place clean. Uh, Joshua, keep the place clean, too, you know. And then we're going to have some music and play some music and have a party. And I stutter a little bit now, but that's okay. But you think you people are going to have the last laugh and the last word in? You're not going to. I got it right here, baby. Rock and roll, live on. I'll be watching over you guys, so you're going to have to be careful. Queenie, please behave yourself. Don't let me worry about you for another 10 years. While my gay community, what you did in my playground and... Hopefully Sharon Subby's going to carry that playground and put the sign up for Thomas T. Or Pete O'Donnell, somebody will. I'm going to make some phone calls today while i got the strength. Uh, I'm not in any pain. I've made peace. i got peace within me. i got nice shiny bright lights. I'll be touching all of you for the rest of your life. You'll be with me. And the kids. The kids will take care of each other. And hopefully baby brother Timmy will... Uh, see the light, maybe, if there is a light on the other side for him, God love him. He's done a lot for everybody. He's gonna miss me. He's got, a, he's got a big heart and I got a big heart. I got the biggest heart of them all, don't I, baby? Suck that heart right out of me. I got Amy's been good to me all, all my life too. And uh, Christina and Jenny, they've been the Gilly girls. They've been real good to me. And we had all the years with the foster boys in our lives. Amy going to all Amy's games and watching Amy grow up as a kid. But Maddie, Annie Midge and all them raising hell with us. Going to the island, you know, it's too bad that uh, we didn't have more fun on the Adams Street side of Peaks Island. But that's all right. Dolly, you know, Dolly's always been there for me too. Uh, they never seen me walking home over the bridge though in the pouring rain, half cocked. Little Ricky. Poor Gino, yeah. Gino's been with us, God love him. He stayed right with us. And I scarred Gina, I come home from a pool tournament, hot as hell. Take my clothes off at the bulkhead and jump in and all he'd see is the white of my ass jumping in that pool. Great big white ass. You wanna talk about whale bait, baby? That was go that was whale bait. Had a lot of good times up there, 108. Patty and Danny and Vanessa and them growing up and throwing them in the pool and poor Christina almost drowned and poor Debbie sees the whites of her eyes on the bottom of the pool. Goes down and pulls her up. That was a hell of a day and we threw Peggy in and we even made Ma go in the swimming pool that day. That was a pretty fancy day for us too. See my mother in the swimming pool. Maddie, I don't see much of Maddie but that's okay. You know, I, I had him with me growing up drinking on the waterfront with me. Tommy, oh my God, Tommy and Lisa and Eric and Rocky and Lisa. I, uh, poor Lisa Chadbourne put up with all of us, that only child. And then my, my Debbie, my Debbie Reed come over to visit me. It meant a lot to me that she come over to see me. And Glenn, I'm getting to see everybody. I don't drive anymore, so I don't get out too often. And then my, uh, Sam and Tony and Luca, and Luca Mack and Sam and Tony, Sam, all the trouble they, Sammy and Tony gave me so much grief. Going out at midnight, chasing them down in Cape Elizabeth and knapsacks and cops and and uh, weed and everything else. You know, they those two boys gave me a real run for the money. No wonder why my heart's so big now; it's ready to blow because of those two. Ellen and Nikki and I got taught the Faulkners and the Karen family and uh, the Readers and up at Shady Side and and going to Seattle. Alfred and Paige and Bob and Alfred and Philip. My dear Alfred's gonna end up taking care of my Mitchie up there for the graduation at Keene State. And the uh, best thing ever happened to Alfred. You'll meet him today too, because everybody's gonna have name tags on. Then uh, my Abby, watching Abby through the Chevrolet games and uh, get through her grades and all that stuff. Robin. Growing up at Holy Cross. 
and trying to stay Catholic and be a Catholic and have the faith that we have. Now she's going off to college, she's the last one. So I think I did pretty goddamn good with all the kids too, you know, we did good. Like I said, we ain't even in the pokey yet and I ain't going. So none of the kids I don't think have been in there yet because I haven't had to go down and bail them out. Only one of them. Dancing on the picnic table up at Providence Avenue and Timmy coming around the corner with a hammer and my mother almost dropped dead. When that hammer comes in the backyard with the lights, spotlights on. And she's going to kill me because she wasn't going to get arrested at 80, 82 years old. She got off getting arrested and get that cop car out of my yard. And never give me your real name if you get caught either, she'd say. She flipped out that night. We had that Hummer in the backyard. But other than that, she did good, Ma. She lived a long life. She she did a lot for us. We wouldn't be here if, without her. She had a hard life, my poor mother, but God love her. She loved everybody and everything, and she didn't like animals, and she didn't like to get her hands dirty. And I used to throw snakes at her and stuff, and she'd be gone. So oh, I got so many whippings and belts. I'm throwing grass snakes out of my pocket and bringing them upstairs to my bedroom and and she'd come out. Oh, she had uh, strokes with me with my animals I had in the house. You know, Paige and Bob, you know, Muzz will, uh, she'll be with you guys. She'll be running around. She's got a lot of living to do still, so she'll have fun with that. Adder and William and Stacy. Forest Gardens, Raising Hell, Forest Gardens. I close that place a lot of times too. Blackstones, my bar at Blackstones, 30 years going to the oldest neighborhood gay bar there is in the city. Had a lot of fun up there, did a lot of fundraising, and brought a lot of money into the city with the gay community. And they're not so homophobic as they used to be, God love them. You know, the whole world's changed. And hopefully it's going to get a little bit better. West End Posse, I can't forget this, Carol Ann. Uh, once they're from the West End. West End's the best end, the East End's the least end. Isn't, doesn't that suck that you had to grow up on Munjoy Hill? I feel real bad for people from Munjoy Hill. Not! No, I really do feel bad for the Hill kids because they, they, they lucked out, you know. We had nice cool breeze, nice view, had the airport, the rich people. Oh yeah, we were rich too, you know. No, we had good times with King Jr. and uh, Jack, the Jack kids were wimps. We always won everything we went out to do and to achieve. We always won the West End. But we had a good neighborhood, we had good people, we had paper roots, worked our asses off. We all got aches and pains and broken bones and everything from working hard, mowing lawns and jumping from roof to roof. Ringing doorbells and getting chased by Roadrunner. We can't forget Roadrunner. Dr. Gofab, can't forget him. The fastest two people I ever saw. They were like white lightning running. Boy, they could catch us too. Till I got up on the Wollaston West Church, boy, and threw the crab apples at them. That was high up. That was a good time too that night. Didn't get arrested that night either, Ma, did I? I, I promised the, the boys here years and years and years ago raising hell with them, Mitchie and Luca. If Joan Jett ever came to the East Coast, we're gonna go see her. And I never thought it would happen. Nobody really, we never really dreamed it would happen. And. Uh, by Jesus, we got it. We got it there this year. And Alan, thank God for Alan bringing us down there and raising hell with us and going and jumping and crying and, and uh, singing and a dream come true like Joan Jett, God love her. It happened. Jesus Christ, we did more crying that night and that day and dancing and you wouldn't believe it. And Christopher, it was like going into a gold nugget mind that we did this and we accomplished it. And, we had, and I met, I lived long enough for Gay Pride and we've Started out gay pride with eight people. And look at it now, you know how big it is. I'm in a good spot. You know, I smoked and drank and raised hell all my life and I loved it, loved every minute of it. I've always been the wild one. Always done what I wanted to do. Never been lonely in my life. You ever think of that? I never can uh, come up with a time where I've ever, ever felt lonely, being number four out of my siblings raising hell with them and trying to get them in trouble all the time, but I got all the bulk of it. Oh boy, it was brutal sometimes. Half hour and they'd all be waiting for me to get uptown to raise hell in the hotels and pick up the pins from the bowling alley. And Kazza, you too, getting... Kazza could run fast, but he used to get caught all the time. Everything he did, he got busted for, Kazza, huh? And my oldest, dearest friends. And the Cabos and my siblings and Ellen meeting into the uh, Karan family. 
30 years or so and my Nikki Sue going out to Seattle. That was a trip and a half. That was another long story, boy. I'll teach you something about flying. And then my episodes with the hospitals and the doctors and the uh, uh, cancer and my swearing and my, and my growling. I'm a werewolf. I turn right into a werewolf. I've touched a lot of hearts and lives and a lot of hearts and lives have touched me. And I appreciate all of it, value all of it. Spent a lot of time with my nieces and nephews, getting them in trouble. But we don't have a criminal record, so we did pretty damn good, you know. And we never got arrested for arson, Kaza. <laughs> but, um, no, it's been a good run, and I don't want people to be sad for me. You know, I've had the balls, I've had the world by the balls, and I've had the best family ever, and the best group of friends ever. <laughs> and my music and my dancing, and running up to the colleges with Mitchie and keeping him in line and Sue and Timo and all the lacrosse and hockey teams and chasing down everybody and I still didn't get arrested yet so I got a couple more days and hopefully I won't get arrested by then but other than that no I've had a good mother good father my father was all right most of the time but if it wasn't for my poor mother God love her transactions we took during our lives. Crazy, huh? And the people I've met in the police department and all over the place and met some good serial killers too. Those were the good ones. And my girls there uh, when Portland started changing. My, my baba, my baba and my poor Mitchie thinks he's an only child and he never got a chance to be an only child. And my poor baba got to take care of everybody, all of us, you know, and running to do things and uh, Thanking Teresa, my bubba, for everything, and Harold too, for letting her have the freedom to come over and take care of me. Every time a new song come out, it's kind of crazy or whatever it was, and different songs, we'd come up for the words with it and dance and raise hell, and I'm always on the island, and I take my bathing suit off, and I love the skinny dip, everybody knows that. I float in Casco Bay, and all you see is the tips of my nipples in the bay there. I had to keep this clean, they said, so I try to keep it as clean as I can. But that ain't gonna happen. Not. But enjoy the day and uh, think of me at peace. I'm at peace.